Would you like a new design for a chicken coop or a chicken house? Maybe you want it as the outside for an automatic chicken cooker in Minecraft. Or maybe you just want to stick it on your farm or in your base. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night and welcome to the first episode in my new small build series. This is a series of quick tutorials where I show you how to build small builds that are going to look fantastic in your survival world. I'm also going to provide a world download in both Bedrock and Java for this particular world plus a schematic of the build in Java. You'll be able to get these out of my Discord completely free. Just pop over to the Discord, the link is in the description below. The things you need for this build are inside this chest. The top two rows are absolutes. You need these items in exactly those numbers to be able to make this build. The items in the middle, they're approximate. If you want to reduce the number of nests, then reduce the number of items. If you want to increase them, increase them. I'm making five nests in this build, but if you wanted four, then the item frames would only be four, the coral fans would only be four. The items in the bottom row are approximate. You need about those. So have a play around with those. Feel free to add a few, take away a few. It's entirely up to you. The chicken egg, that just represents chickens. You're gonna want chickens. It's a chicken coop. Now take a screenshot, pause the video, write it down, whatever works for you, and let's get on with the build. This build is made on a 15 by 15 square. We are gonna put some decoration outside of that 15 by 15 square, but the actual build itself sits beautifully within that square. I've used path blocks because we're on grass. It's a really good way of being able to mark out your border without putting down blocks that are gonna look unsightly and you need to remove later. Come to the center of your front. I'm gonna make this my front and count along so you're on square eight. That is halfway along that 15 side and come in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then come across two and place a block. Come back and come across two and place a block. You should have a three wide gap in the middle. Do exactly the same on this side. One, two, three, and that, and then one, two, three, and that. And then on top of those, I want you to put a spruce post exactly like that. That is gonna be the legs of our chicken coop. We then need to place what is going to become the floor of the coop on top of these posts. So climb up on one of those there and pop that on top and make it come all the way across to that. Repeat that on that side and bring it around, but don't do it in the middle of this side here. Just pop one there. What I want you to do is to put one there, one there and one there. So you've got a bit of a step down. That is how the chickens are gonna come down because we're gonna create a step down there. We're gonna get our rails. We're gonna place a rail there, a rail there, which you can then run on and go there as well. We've now got a way to get up into our chicken coop and serve the chickens. Otherwise, it's not much of a house for them. I'm using trapdoors to make the walls. At the front, you need to put a trapdoor right up against the front and then trapdoors on top so they'll flap up the way they do all the way around the other side. I'm going to be using different trapdoors one after the other to give a bit of a textured effect. We've got spruce, we've got dark oak, and we've also got oak in little gaps so just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Inside, I need to put two sets of trapdoors because I want the inner trapdoor to be slightly inset against the outer. Again, it's gonna make it look slightly more interesting when we put it all together later. We need to place the second layer of trapdoors on the front and the back from the outside because we want them to be flush with the other trapdoors. We can't actually place them internally because the sides are gonna block off the corners. You're gonna to need to tower up to be able to do that. You could use some of the dirt that you've got or maybe bring along a little bit of scaffold if that's what you want to do as well. I'm gonna do one of the sides, this side specifically. Crouch click and pop one of these on each side. That is an oak trapdoor against the edge of that oak trapdoor. Then wanna get your temporary blocks. Well, they're not temporary, you're gonna use them up in a minute. But again, crouch on these four like that. And then you wanna, again, tower yourself up. One, two, three, and four. And get yourself your campfires. And you want to pop your campfires there and there, there and there. And then when you dig down like that, remove these out. That should 
keep those campfires just there. You can then pop the campfires out using your spade, just like that. Repeat that on all four sides. Now remember when you do the back and the front, this top row of trapdoors actually forms the underlay. You don't need the dirt, so you can go one, two, three, and four, just like that. You don't need to place those temporary blocks. The trapdoors act as the temporary blocks for you. The same at the front. Once all those campfires are in place, put a slab right up inside one of the corners, then put one on top, then one to the side, and then you want to trace a row all the way around, right to the very end until you reach the other side again. So all the way around here, just exactly like that. And then take out this corner block that you started with and collect up the two slabs because you need that extra slab for the build, but you don't need it in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out on each front face, we're gonna place a slab in there on each one, and then we can take out the slab that's behind it because that again is gonna be needed for another part of the roof. And then place spruce trap doors like this facing inwards on each of these sides. And then against those spruce trap doors using shift, you can place another slab and you can see the roof is starting to form. We can now finish off the roof against the opposite side from where you're standing, place a campfire and then put it out. And then on top of the campfire, place a slab like that. There'll be a big gap, don't worry. Place another slab next to it and then come down to the edge and place a slab underneath that slab right there. You can then take out these two slabs because they're just temporary and it leaves that slab right in the middle there. We have got three campfires left. One goes there, one goes there, one goes there. Put all three of those out and then using your oak trapdoors against the slab, not against the trapdoor, place one there, there, there and there and you have got a completed roof. And actually, I think it looks pretty good. Come inside your coop, and it doesn't matter where, but somewhere, just pop a lantern. It just puts some light inside here and it stops mobs from spawning. With your remaining two oak trap doors, just pop them either side of that block there, just to give a little bit of differentiation between those legs and that texture there. That's the main structure of the chicken coop done, but it's no good because the chickens will run around everywhere. There's no fence, there's no compound. We need to make the compound. Now I'm gonna show you the important bit that you've got to do, and then the rest is probably just down to you, and I'll do it in a bit of a freestyle time-lapse. But before you do that, choose one of your corners and come a little bit of a distance away. I would say about there, so you've got kind of three blocks in, and dig out three blocks like that. Get a water bucket in there and a water bucket in there. You can then refill both of your water buckets from the middle because that is an infinite water source. Then create yourself just a nice shape. It doesn't matter what shape you make, it's entirely up to you, but don't tramp up against the edges of your square. I think something like that will probably do. And then make sure that you have got water that is completely still. exactly like that. That's just a little bit of water for them to splash around in. And then what you also need to do is put five holes in random places around your compound. Put one there and fill it with water. And then do another four. Or if you want to just do four nests, do another three. Or if you want to do more, do another however many you need. This bit is up to you but I recommend you don't overdo it. I found five is optimal. I've got my five holes and they've all got water in and I'm gonna put a top slab into each of them. Now that slab is now waterlogged. It's not taking the water away, the water is still there. The slab is effectively soggy and that is really important for what we're about to do. We're gonna put an item frame on each one of these, which is why we need five item frames, like that. We're then gonna put an egg into each of the item frames. So whatever eggs you've got, I'm using a mixture of turtle eggs and normal eggs. It's completely up to you what you use. I've just popped that off, that was a mistake. Let's get that back on there. Then get a coral fern and just place it on top outside of that item frame. You see, I'm not highlighting the item frame, I'm highlighting the slab 
and I pop it on like that, highlighting the slab, pop it on like that. You can see it looks like a nest and that is really effective. And if you want to, you can turn around that egg before you put the coral fan on and you can make it look in different orientations, which is actually quite nice. Pop it along there, bang. Now, if you were to do that without waterlogging the block, you would end up with a fan that does that turns gray and that is not attractive let's make sure that we keep our yellow fans because then that looks like a straw nest all it needs now is a textured ground a fence around it and some chickens living in it let's do it in a time lapse cue the music Our chicken coop is complete. I've grown some trees on the left hand side just to give a bit of interest outside of the structure, but internally we've got a nicely textured floor with nests, some grass left over from the plains area. We've surrounded it with a fence and there are hay bales and a cauldron with some water. Those crops will grow eventually to give another color accent inside and the chickens seem really happy to be playing around inside that water and getting fed by me. The actual structure of the chicken coop itself is textured nicely. It looks a little bit rickety, but with enough strength to withhold number of chickens. I like the gradual slope of that roof and the way the campfires bring it all together works really well. I'm pretty happy how this came out. Now remember, this is available as a schematic and the schematic will include the fencing all around the outside and the grounds, not just the building, for Java and a world download for Java and Bedrock. So do go across to my Discord and the downloads will be available right there, completely free for everybody. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoy them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.